session of Mami Teo Teaches Math. Our most essential learning competency in this session is determine the inverse of one-to-one -one function. Let's do it. To find the inverse of a one-to-one -one function, we follow these steps. I will be using the first example. So we have f of x is equal to 4x minus 5. First, change f of x to y. So this is y is equal to 4x minus 5. Second step, interchange x and y. What does that mean? x becomes y and then y becomes x. So this becomes x and this one becomes y. After interchanging x and y, you solve for y. So we transpose 5 to the other side. This is x plus 5 is equal to 4y. Divide both by 4. So y now is equal to x plus 5 over 4. And then replace y by this one. By the way, this one is the symbol for the inverse. So the inverse now is x plus 5 over 4. The inverse of this is this one. This one is the symbol. Don't forget that. Example number 2. We have f of x is equal to x cubed minus 2. Change f of x to y. That will be y is equal to x cubed minus 2. Next step, interchange x and y. This is x equals y cubed minus 2. Next, solve for y. I will transpose 2 to the other side. That becomes plus 2 or positive 2. So th this is y cubed. And then solving for y, of course, we get the cube root of both sides. So this is cube root of x plus 2 is equal to, of course, y. Now, let us replace this one by its symbol for the inverse. This is read as the inverse of f of x. So, this is cube root of x plus. So, let us now go to number 3. We have g of x is equal to 2 over x minus 3. This one is y equals 2 over x minus 3. Interchanging x and y, that will be x is equal to 2 over y minus 3. And then of course, solving for y, we get the cross product. That will be xy. x times negative 3 is negative 3x. This one is 2. Again, x times y is xy. x times negative 3 is negative 3x. And then 1 times 2 is of course 2. Now, since we are solving for y, we will be transposing this term to the other side because it does not contain y, of course. So this is xy is equal to 2. This becomes plus or positive 3x. And then solving for y, we have over x over x. y now is equal to 2 plus 3x over x. And, of course, we replace this by its symbol. That will be the inverse of, sorry, this is not f of x. This one is g of x. So, this is g of x. The inverse of g of x is equal to 2 plus 3x over x. That's it. 